My dear wife, you must excuse me for not having written to you before. I have not been very well. I write this by means of a friend who is now sitting by my side. Well, I send you all my love and must now close. Your affectionate husband, Nelson Jabot. Written by Walt Whitman, a friend. The Walt Whitman letter was recently discovered in a Civil War widow's pension application file. We have 1.28 million of those case files here in our holdings at the National Archives in Washington. It's a Civil War widow's pension project and these are pension files of widows, minors, and parents of Civil War soldiers who died either during the service or shortly after the service. When I found the letter, I saw that it was to my dear wife, so of course I had to read it. And I turned it over and I saw his signature. And I knew Whitman had done this service for soldiers, that he visited hospitals and wrote letters for soldiers. When Catherine presented the letter that she had discovered in Nelson Jabot's pension file, part of my job is to make sure that we can authenticate the find. So we needed to actually speak with the Walt Whitman Scholar to authenticate the handwriting. And so Dr. Ken Price knew the handwriting better than anyone on the planet. That's the exciting thing about the National Archives, that every discovery within the records is an opportunity to rethink history and retell the story. And history is not something that's locked down. Um, history is a process, and this is a ripe opportunity for Ken Price to do some more analysis of those kinds of letters home to see whether there are others that uh, what Whitman did where he didn't acknowledge at the bottom of the letter that he was the scribe. So it's very exciting. In the current edition of Prologue magazine at the National Archives, I co-authored an article with Dr. Price researching specifically the soldiers behind the three known surviving Walt Whitman soldier letters from that time period. This is a facsimile of the letter that was in Nelson Jabot's pension file. I was not surprised to find a letter by Walt Whitman in the files because I knew this was the service he had done for soldiers. He literally wrote hundreds of letters for Civil War soldiers, um, but only three are known to survive, and one of them was the recent discovery here at the National Archives. His work in the hospitals um, parallels the work that I did as a Navy hospital corpsman um, during the Vietnam War. Sitting at the bedside with wounded soldiers um, is something that we share in common, and, and just having a person for them to talk to um, was an important role to play in their healing process and the recovery process and Walt and I share that, that experience. This story completes the circle both for the family and also for Walt Women scholars who are continuing to understand his experiences in the hospitals here.